Our next guest is going to illuminate the screen. She brings so much beauty. It's hard to believe that Project Runway is celebrating its 13th season. She is one of the fixtures on the show, is uh, one of the judges. Super nice and sweet, but talented at that. Thank you. And Nina Garcia joins us. And Nina, I know you're from Colombia, but I just got back from Cartagena. Oh my God, I'm so happy you've been down there. I just love the spirit of the people there, and I know that you grew up there. What is it about Colombia that just served you so well in your career? You know, um, growing up in Colombia was a great source of um, pride and inspiration for me. When I came to this country and I started working in the fashion business, I think that was one of the um, the the um, inspirations for strength in my career. I really felt that my cultural background, the fact that I had a different perspective in fashion, um, it was a source of strength for me. I'm very proud to be a Latina. I'm very proud of my culture. I think, um, you know, Colombia is a great country. There's so much richness, there's so much cultural richness. Um, and I grew up with women that loved fashion and, and culturally it's part of, you know, women are very feminine and are very attuned to, to what they wear and how they wear their makeup. So it was a great source of inspiration and it was a great source of, of, of pride for me. And it served me really well in my career. Like I said, I'm, I'm very proud to be Latina and um, it's, you know, I love Colombia. Well, one thing's for certain, over the years of Project One Way, I've gotten to know your passion and beauty, and thank you so much for joining us. I know you're also the creative director at Marie Claire, and what vision do you have for that magazine? You know, Marie Claire, what I try to really communicate to my readers is to find your personal style. I don't want to dictate to our readers what to wear and how to wear it. I want to inspire them. Um, our readers are already very um, secure women that have, that have their own point of view. So what we offer them are inspirations. We offer them ideas, but it's never about dictating fashion. It's never about talking down to them in terms of fashion, but offering them choices. And those choices are, you know, it could be from, it could be in a mix of prices. It could be from the high end to something very affordable. Um, but really curating those pages so that the reader finds the best value and the best inspiration in our fashion pages. Well, Nina, you're such an inspiration. Congratulations. I love how you open your heart to so many and give us some really good tips to live by. So given your success, well-deserved, what advice would you give to anyone out there pursuing their passion given what you've learned on your journey? Um, really, you know, my, my best advice to everybody is find something that you are passionate about and, um, and don't give up. Be very uh, perseverant because in every industry, it's not only in fashion, I think that you have to have that passion and perseverance and never give up because it can happen. Stay with it. Well, Nina, we are blessed that you followed that advice and stayed with it. We get to enjoy it. But you also have a very important message as well to share with us. So um, part of the reason that I'm here is because I have partnered with Mylan on a campaign that is for EpiPen on location. It's an initiative for those who suffer life-threatening allergies like does my son. Um, we discovered my son had, he was very allergic to tree nuts and we've you know, as a mother, I've been very diligent, very careful, very attentive to everything that he eats, that, you know, reading all the labels, being very careful. However, one day on a beautiful day to the beach, you know, somebody offered us a kale chip. Who knew this kale chip um, caused anaphylaxis shock? Um, he, you know, he had all the symptoms. We recognized them immediately. He broke into a rash. He threw up. His throat started closing. It was very scary. We had two of these. We had our EpiPen auto injectors. We um, injected him and drove him to the emergency room. And thankfully, my son was okay. But that really um, prompted me to to really reach out to the community to all of those that that have life-threatening allergies 
about having an action plan ready, being prepared should you have a reaction, should something, life happens, allergies are unpredictable, it's always good to be prepared. And this being mother's, mother's weekend, really, um, it's a good opportunity to get that message out there. That campaign is really online. I share my personal story. I would love it if your viewers would help me really um, share these videos with other families, with other friends, members, or you know, people that they know have allergies. Um, it's EpiPenOnLocation.com. Share these videos. Learn more about the community. Learn more about how to really have a plan of action if you have a moment of crisis or if you have any allergies and always be prepared with an epinephrine auto injector at all times. Well, your son has a great mom. Thank you for that health tip. Very, very, very important. We wish continued blessings on you and your family. Thank you so much, Nina, for joining us. Thank you, Khan.